copyright notices if you wish to read pause the video the original videos are linked in the description down below enjoy all right then so in this one what we're going to be looking at is actually some good policing for once and some good interactions and believe it or not we're looking at take our rights back in my hometown of hull at clough road police station this these interactions has shown me that the, the clough road's changed a lot since i was last there oh what 11 years ago or something like that so clough road it used to be a really dirty, groovy place. There used to be uh, drug needles about and stuff like that. And the police was absolutely terrible. But this is showing a good light on a handful of good officers. So we'll just get straight into it. I'm not going to interrupt it, interrupt that much. I am going to a little bit to have my opinion. There's no law really to show on this, just an opinion. But let's just go. Huh? What did the what? Okay then. What okay then. So, like me and you, will you identify yourself first? Yeah, PC one one five Spencer. Spencer. Yeah, okay. yeah. Not Frank. No, no, but uh, it was a good show. Wasn't it? <laughs> yeah, yourself. Yeah, PC zero seven five two Fanshawe. And I'm both based that way. Based here. Both Clough Road. Yeah, so yeah. I don't want to sound uh, cheeky or anything like that. No, not a problem. What was your name, sorry? PC Fanshawe. Fanshawe. When did you leave school? When I leave school. Yeah. A while ago now. What it? Yeah. You only look young, baby face. I know. How long have you been in the job? Yeah, all the time. How long have you been in the job? Not long, man. Not that long. No, not that long. Okay. So I'm assuming uh, baby face here, can't remember his name, is still on probationary services and this is the officer he is hooked with. That's what I'm assuming. As I said, he's not been on the force that long and he hasn't left he left school not that long ago, really. Looking at him, he don't look... It looks about, what, 20, 21, if that. But, yeah, let's continue and see what this conversation is going to. Yeah, 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 we can. So, you, you've approached and you said we've got some questions. Um, someone said you've got some questions, so okay. I'm hoping I've got the answers for you. Okay, so first, what were you yeah. told then? There's two chaps outside with balaclavas on, they've got some questions. Would you say we're balaclavered up? Yeah. You'd say we're balaclavered up? Uh, I can only see your eyes with your face coverings. Yeah, so, so. it's a face covering, not a balaclava though. And uh, well, it's down, isn't it? So I can't see the top of it. But... Yeah, yeah. So well, face coverings and I can only see your eyes. Yeah, well, three years ago, you guys were giving us a fine if we weren't wearing them, weren't you? Um, I wasn't finding people for it, no. Weren't you? Well, a few people out where you were. Very possible. Um, so, my first question yep. when I was trying to ask the uh, jammer is why do police officers, like when they come and interact with people like myself, yeah. the first thing they want to do is give directives. So, like, stand on the grass, stay safe. I mean, I've crossed the road for yeah, 23 years. Yeah, I, I are doing that, am I? I'm no, just, I'm not, so but obviously you're a police... I can't speak for everybody else, can I? The way that they approach their jobs is different. We all, we're all different people, so, aren't we? So... So I can answer that one for you. It's a little power boost for their own little mental game to make them feel in control and powerful. That's the simple answer. Would you identify yourself as a police constable or a police officer? Uh, what's, the, what's the difference? Well, the difference is there's yeah. no such thing as a police officer. Officers so we're are, all constables, are we? Yeah, even okay. all the way up to superintendents, yeah. um, inspectors, even like the top. What's he called? He's called the chief, chief. constable, yeah, isn't he? Yeah. You know, so It'll be a every... while if I ever get on that wage, I don't think I'll be on uh, that much. Well, every cop that, yeah. first and foremost, holds the office of constable. Okay. Is it right that what it is, once you become a police constable, you're never off duty? Well, we get paid, don't we, for doing 40 hours a week and stuff, but if we witness something that's wrong, we have a duty of care to report it. So if you so if you were off duty now and you and me and you were in the shop and you witnessed me steal something, you've got the power to make even a citizen's arrest. I could make an arrest if I saw it, yes. Yeah, so would you? I'd probably report it to security guard or I'll come up to you and I'll say, come on mate, people can see you doing that, put it back. So you so you so But everyone's different, aren't they? So the way you communicate and I'd say you're quite reasonable. Usually. You know, because at the end of the day, there's not, you, we don't always have to go down the road ro ro of prosecution. Yeah, of course we? not. And if what you're stealing, if I see you stealing food, at what point, if people are stealing food, what kind of position are they in in their life yeah. to be stealing food? Yeah. Are that, has it got to that point with cost of living crisis and stuff where yeah. people are really hungry? Yeah. You know, so it, different situations, isn't, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. Okay, so I really like this constable already. He is going to use his discretion in certain situations. 
which I, I like. Mars Constables don't. And I'm I, I'm actually enjoying this conversation between the two. I'm glad this constable is being quite... Hopefully he practices what he preaches. And it, like he said, in certain situations when you see people stealing food, I've seen people stealing food and I just buy it from... It, it's the end of the day, money's money and it comes and goes. I buy for the homeless stood outside of the shop. I, I, that's just me. I hope most of you do that as well. But yeah, it sounds like this constable will do that as well. That's all I was getting at. Well, even if though that that was the situation, it still wouldn't make it right for them to be stealing. But we saw, but what you say, what I've took from that statement is yeah, we sort yeah. of understand like the circumstances that's led up to that. Yeah, of course. Yeah. And, and we wouldn't, me and yourself, and the young chap here, yeah. and and this uh, lad here, we wouldn't want to be in that situation, would we? No, it'd be a horrible place you to know, be, wouldn't it? Um, yeah. So yeah, I don't know how long have you been based here? Uh, I've been based. I've been based here two years. So I think about two and a half, maybe two years. Yeah, a year ago, this yeah. PlayStation was renowned. Do you know about the policeman's friend? It's the old famous Section 50 of the Police Reform Act. Oh, if um, we request someone's details, if they're uh, basically doing antisocial behaviour and they refuse them, yeah. that one. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, so, I'm aware of it. I've never used it, but I'm aware of it. But okay, then, so this is what is actually on about Section 50, the Police Reform Act of 2002. It's up to date on by 2017, which is persons engaging in antisocial behaviour. If a constable in uniform has reasonable reason to believe that a person has has or is engaging in antisocial behaviour, he may request their personal that person to give his name and address to the constable. So that's what he's on about. So that obviously the key words in this is has engaged or is engaging in antisocial behaviour. The key the key is what is antisocial behaviour, obviously. Filming in public is not antisocial. So this is obviously what is antisocial behaviour here. Yeah. Any person who fails to give his name, address, or blah blah blah, or gives a false name, they yeah, can be arrested and fingered there. Um, so yeah, this is basically the act what it's talking about, and this is probably the only time I'm gonna put in a bit of law for oh, you. Yeah. It does get abused, doesn't it? Um, I can't it, say that it I'll gets abused because I've never seen it used. Well, okay then. Can I ask you a question? And yeah, I'd appreciate course, yeah. if you would. I can be... only answer a couple more though because we've actually we've got loads of yeah, people okay, to be doing now. Yeah, okay. Appreciate it. Yeah. Well, it would be appreciated if you answer this question properly. So me yeah, study you right now, doing the activity that I'm doing is a lawful activity. Would yeah. you say that is antisocial? Some people, from their side, from people who work here's point of view, and this is some people's point of view, worry when they're coming in in their own cars and the reg plates and things and the faces and their identities are being taken right. just because police officers and police staff can be targeted can't right. they? Okay. by some members of the public sometimes okay. not saying you would but if your information got out there we've okay. had officers before that get followed home okay. you know what i mean we've had officers houses that get i don't damaged think and stuff. i don't think you'd get followed home because you know what you seem quite no. reasonable you seem quite fair yeah but unfortunately right there is police constables right yeah, yeah. out there that act in a tyrannical way right yeah and they're not as reasonable as you and then what happens is you'll know there's a bridge between the public and the and the police that need building well that's and what, it's we, that's what i try police. and build up to be honest yeah, good. Because, well, um, well done it's just i'm from a i'm not from a wealthy background i grew up on a pretty horrible estate around here yeah went to a bad school and stuff and it, it's helped me in my job of just talk you talk to people or you want to be talked to yeah know, but what i'm saying is they, but what i'm saying is these tyrannical uh, constables, right? Yeah. Give the likes of you because we see the uniform and we and we draw on our past experience with the tower and all. I'm not yeah, saying you well, are. People don't yeah. see the person; they just see the uniform. It's always it's that you way know. in this job. So. But listen, have you got that uh, thin blue line? Okay, then. So I sort of do. I've, I am starting to like this uh, constable here, and to be honest, I really do think that other constable is in his probationary stages of the police force. As he hasn't really said anything, he's just listening and watching and basically learning. So I can't really fault this interaction at all at the minute. It's a brilliant interaction. Exactly with the interactions we should be getting. You know the thing blow that, don't you? Yeah. So no, it's a union. I don't stick anything, so to, don't stick anything union. to myself. Union Jack yeah. with a little blue line on it, isn't it? Yeah. Some people see it as defacing the Union Jack. Well, it is, isn't Other it? Other people see it as um, supporting uh, the ones that have fallen and trying to save the country. 
everyone has different opinions okay. of it. Okay, so, so what's your opinion of I it? Don't wear, I don't wear anything like that, I won't buy out, to be honest, so I wear what my uniform is. Because my next so, question is this, right? Yeah, I'll give you one more though. Un unfortunately, yeah. right, like it or not, right, everyone who gets brought in police custody may not have even broke the law, they may not be criminals, and yeah, even if... They, isn't it? Yeah, so. but even if they are criminals, right, they've got family just like yourself, just yeah, like course, me, yeah. right, and at the end of the day, right, it's all in the news, right, people die in police custody. Yeah. On some occasions they've been murdered in police custody. So if these um, constables are going to wear a, a, a badge or a symbol, whatever you want to call it. Yeah, yeah. Right, I but, think another one, you mean the Union Jack? Yeah, so yeah, they're going to yeah. wear that for people, like for, for constables who's fallen, right? Yeah. Why not wear one beside it, right, for the people who've been murdered or died in police custody? And that'd help build a bridge as well. Okay then, so that's an actually instant, uh, interesting fact. So, I tried to go on the Home Office of National Statistics to get the number of deaths during or following police contact for last year. Obviously, last year didn't come around yet because it's not April, so I tried to get it for the year prior. Couldn't get that information. The only place I could get some sort of information on this was the independent office of police conduct which we all know doesn't give you the true numbers but in this uh published uh, the 19th of last year the figures across different categories uh blah blah blah, blah. the report shows there was 23 deaths in or following police custody or incidents of 12 in uh, an increase of 12 from the year prior and higher figures than 17 to 18. All right, so that's a little bit of information there. I'm not going to go all into it. Last year there were 28 da, 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 police shootings, there were fatal shootings compared to, uh, to uh, the year prior. This year there were 28 fatal fatalities from 26 police related road traffic incidents. So how is the, see the numbers here don't make sense today. So there's 23 deaths in or following police custody. But now it says there's 28 fatalities, uh, 28 fatalities from 26 police related traffic incidents at here. So yes, uh, police related traffic incidents. So where there's been road traffic hat thing is, so there's 28 of them. Yeah, 20 fatal across or from 18 police related, blah, blah, blah. Yep, so that's now, so what's this here? There were 23, 23 people who had died in or following police custody. 13 had mental health issues, blah, blah, blah. yes. Uh, road traffic one, so there's 20 in pursuits. There was uh, 11 out of the 23. This is use of force, and then it's ethnic groups and blah de blah. So, as you can see, more people die in police custody or following police custody than police die. So, I am with uh, taking our rights back on this one. There should be some sort of badge for these sort of people as well. Is there one of those? I don't know if. Well, I'm one, 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 one of them guys. Or... Not at the moment, but I want to go obviously through the proper channels. Yeah. Uh, the powers above, if you will, and yeah. try and get one um, designed. Okay. And hopefully, you know, we'll see. We'll see some cop uh, coppers that mm. will, and that's yours. That you know what? Because I think the power goes to some of the heads. You know. Happens because... with some jobs, doesn't it? You see, it's not just police bosses. You see, when people get in a management position or anything like that, that they do kind of get a little bit above the station or they start displaying sanctimonious behaviour and things like that. It's just it's just one of those things where everybody's still people, but in this job, yeah, you've got to you've got to know what's right and what's wrong, obviously, because we're trying to uphold that, aren't we? Yeah, go on. And no one's but, above the law, either. Of course they're not. So no. if you're saying him break the law, what, what, what action would you take? Right, he'll get, he'll get dobbed in for it, won't he? And he'd do the same with me. So. Yeah, go, yeah, good. And, so, and that's how it should be. I know you said that was the last question, but I have got one more for you. Better be equipped, uh, won't because I'm, I'm, I'm freezing out it here. It was. So, what made you come, come down here and engage with us? Well, I just mentioned to you firstly, didn't I, that when we went in, um, some people that drove in said that they just 
described it as two um, men that have got balaclavas on, so the way that they've described it to us, um, have, have questions for us. Right. So I said, we'll go and see what they are. And what made so, you have the approach that you've had today? I do, I approach every job like this. Well, Literally well, pretty much every single one. And that's the way it should be, you know, because yeah. do you know what it is? Believe it or not, like police constables, right, believe that people like me who come to the police station, right, have got a hatred for the police and that we've got some kind of resentment, but believe it or not, what I, what I have got resentment against is tyrannical um, tyrants, okay. right? But what it is Hopefully he does go to every single job with this exact attitude. This is the type of police we need on the police force. This is the type of police watch new police should be looking up to and wanting to be like. This sort of behaviour and this type of policing will change the perceit the, the way people judge the police and build that bridge back which needs to be built back. At the minute, people don't have any trust for the police at all because of the bad police. It's as simple as that. I totally agree with you on that one, so... Is like it or not, what kind of world would we be living in if we didn't have you guys or we're going out there and then some, on some occasions putting your leg back? It's yeah, like the page, wasn't it, that film? Isn't it? So, yeah. we need we need constables like you. Are you always... Is he probationer? Yeah, yeah, so basically he's stuck with me for 10 weeks. Well, to what it is, job, to so. be fair though, I don't think you can go wrong if you take... Yeah, no, if you take, really good at what you do. Yeah, if you take his approach on board, I don't think you go far yeah. wrong. You know. Speak to me. What's your... No, you don't need to give me your actual name, but I was just going to say bye. What's your name, sorry? I was, go, I was just going to say, first, I was going to finish... Just the first name, no, just the first name so I can say I was, bye. I was just going to finish off, right, yeah. and say, I'm surprised you haven't fished. No, you can say, you can say Dave if you want, and I'll just say goodbye, Dave. OK, Trevor. Right, Trevor, right, Trevor. I'm sorry to... I can't really shake your hand. It's OK. Properly, Trevor. Listen, thank you. you take nice care, will you? Yeah, thank you, mate. Thank you. Henry. Henry, take care, mate. All right. Nice we've got, we've got quite a bit to do. Um, All right. You look after yourselves up yeah. there. Yeah. Well, listen, thanks for coming and engaging and having a pleasant and, pink and being cordial. Yeah, that's fine. Very much appreciated. No worries. Now, you can get on comms, guys, and let them know that we're here and we're not, we're not here. We're not hostile or anything like that. Yeah, well, that's the update I'm going to give up. Yeah, on. you know, if, I, if you'll come, if, you know, I'll let you go because I know you're busy. Say is just the worry when you're near the gates. We won't go. Because we people won't worry cross. people are trying to get in. Well, we won't cross because I know that I'd be found on in close fences as a criminal offence. Yeah, but listen yeah. to this. Um, Tell them that we're not hostile, and well, what it is, if you were to come over and you'd remain hostile with me, I'd have been hostile with you. Well, so, behaviour breeds behaviour, doesn't it? So. 100%. Well, listen, thanks for the chat. Stay safe. Ta da, ta da. Thanks very much, guys. So, yeah, I can't. So, there you go. It does look like some of the police in Clough Road have changed their attitudes. Clough Road used to be a dirty, scruffy, bad place. And. Well, not in the inside. Inside was quite nice. Even in the cells was quite nice. Fair enough, you're looking at, what, like a 20-foot wall. But it wasn't too bad, was it? It was nice and clean. Bit annoying when you've got a dickhead next to you in the cell, mate, or what, shut up all night, screaming and banging and shite. But it's just one of those things, isn't it? But the police, their constables, what used to work there, was quite dickheads. I'm not going to tell my story of being in there. It's a long one, but yeah. In this incident, that was a perfect police, perfect policing in my eyes. Very cordial and very open, very polite. That's the type of policing we need. But that's just my opinion. Let us know in the comments down below what you thought of this interaction. As always, like the video, it does open your algorithm. And I'll catch you on the next one.